This is a video that is going out to all of our military. It is Veterans Day, 11, 11 of 11. And first of all, I want to thank you because at least you have the heart to serve your country. Your heart is in the right place and I honor and respect you for, for doing so. Most of you join the military because you actually think you are helping America defend its freedom. Okay, but the truth is that you've been deceived. Uh, you've been deceived into believing that we have a Middle East boogeyman, Al Qaeda network that is going to kill us. If this were really the case, then please ask yourself this question. Why have our borders been wide open for 10 years if we are really fighting a war on terror? And why do we even allow Muslims into our military to begin with if they are our enemy? Well, the reason why is because America is actually fighting Israel's enemies. And we are causing all the Arab countries to hate us. Now, wouldn't you hate a foreign invader that was occupying our land? Yet, that is what we are doing to all these different Middle Eastern countries. And this is because Israel is trying to establish Old Testament borders that they think they are entitled to. So they are using American troops to usher in World War III. Why do you think America even went to Iraq? Well, there were no WMDs. It was because Paul Wolfowitz and Richard Pearl, both Chosenites, they used their good little goy puppet George W. Bush to convince the American people through the Chosenite-owned media that Saddam Hussein was a threat to us. That proved to be a lie. Well, Iraq is part of the biblical borders of the Old Testament. And why are we still in Afghanistan after 10 years? You know it's a war that we can't win. You know the rules of engagement do not allow for you to win since you are unable to fire unless fired upon. You know it will be impossible to stabilize a nation that consists of many different tribes. But the fact is, America is there to protect the poppy fields and to help establish an oil pipeline through Afghanistan for Unical Oil Company. And the truth is, Afghanistan was not responsible for 9-11, which was the excuse for getting us there in the first place. If Afghanistan was really guilty, then why are we still there after the supposed capture of the Osama bin Laden boogeyman who planned everything from a cave on kidney dialysis, don't forget. The truth is that Israel did 9-11. That is why no Jewish people were killed during the attacks. Uh, and that is because an Israeli company sent all Jews text messages the morning of 9-11 warning them to avoid Manhattan. And five dancing Israelis were caught filming the attacks on the Twin Towers. And when they were later questioned by the FBI, they said they were there to document the event. Well, how did they know there was going to be an event to document if they didn't already have prior knowledge? And isn't it interesting that the five Israelis, they were just deported back to Israel instead of being indicted here in America. And that is because the head of the Department of Justice was Michael Chertoff, another Chosenite who actually authored the Patriot Act which is do, which is legislation that is geared towards uh, making this a police state against the American people, if you haven't noticed. Then we have Building 7, which was never hit by a plane. It fell into its own footprint in a controlled demolition, which was admitted by the owner of the building, another Chosenite named Larry Silverstein. Okay, so now that I've established who's... Uh, responsible for 9-11. Oh, why are we still in Afghanistan? Well, it's because Israel wants us to destabilize all the Middle Eastern countries. Now, why did America help NATO to murder Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi? 
he was actually very good to his people and offered the people of Libya a much higher standard of living than the American government offers its citizens. Gaddafi gave $50,000 to every married couple interest-free to have their home because Gaddafi believed that having a home was a civil right and the literacy rate in Libya was extremely high and he wanted to have a gold currency. He did not want to be ruled by these chosenite bankers. So, uh, before the country of Israel ever came into existence in 1948, America did not have any enemies in the Middle East. That is a fact. But, because the Fox News Channel, owned by the Chosenites, keeps telling you that President Ahmadinejad of Iran has nukes, well, you believe them, and you will gladly go destroy Iran too. Syria is on the chopping block as well, and the Chosenite media will make some excuse to destabilize that nation as well as Lebanon and Pakistan too. What do you think these Middle Eastern nations have in common? Please think. Don't make excuses for Israel. They have done nothing for America except destroy it from within with their Chosenite banking cabal, the Federal Reserve. They have a network of Israeli operatives and spies such as dual citizen Jonathan Pollard who gave thousands upon thousands of top secret documents to our enemies. And if Israel is such a good friend to the U.S., then why did they deliberately attack the USS Liberty in 1967, murdering dozens of our servicemen? Well, the reason why they did it is because they were trying to false flag America into attacking Egypt. And lo and behold, Egypt just happens to be part of those Old Testament borders as well that they think they're entitled to. Now, don't get me wrong. I admire you veterans and our military because you are trying to make sacrifices that most lazy couch potato Americans will never make. However, this is being done in vain. The truth is our government doesn't care about you. That is why they pay you so little, make you work countless hours with very little sleep, inject you with poisons, and treat you like a machine. They are hoping to desensitize you and turn you into jackboot thugs who will eventually turn against the American people and disarm them after they are through using you and exposing you to depleted uranium. If we really had freedom to keep and bear arms, then why do we have to license them? Why do we have to register them? And why will you be disarmed as a vet if you ever suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder? If we really have free speech, then why will my video be instantly flagged and removed for hate speech even though I'm telling the truth? If we really had freedom of the press, then why is every media outlet completely controlled and owned by these Chosenites? Therefore, we are always given a pro-Israel slant to any news channel, and if any news anchor dissents from pro-Israel propaganda, they quickly lose their job. This is going to offend most World War II vets to hear me say this, but I'm sorry to tell you this. You fought on the wrong side of World War II. America was induced into World War II under the Chosenite President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who, by the way, stole all of your gold, if you can't remember that. He knew damn well that Pearl Harbor was going to be attacked and did nothing to warn those that military base of the coming attack. Now, Hitler was the only leader that was trying to stop the spread of Jew-Bolshevik communism, but because of the Chosenite-owned media, the anti-German propaganda was churned out at such an alarming rate um, that Americans bought into World War II. And uh, if World War II was really the good war, then why did over half of Europe suddenly turn into communist satellite countries after the end of World War II? Do you realize that millions of German civilians were murdered in open-air concentration camps under Chosenite President Eisenhower? 
Do you realize that the Chosenite Jew Bolsheviks who murdered 60 million Russians were destroying Germans' economy with their stranglehold on the banking, the media, and the government? These same Chosenite Bolsheviks are doing the same thing to America right now with the creation of the Chosenite Federal Reserve. You people don't know history is repeating because the history books are rewritten by these Chosenites. They haven't been kicked out 109 times throughout history because they are nice people. It's because they systematically take over banking, media, and government. That's what they've done to America with their APAC lobby and the disgusting pandering that all of our Congress does each year when they visit the Holocaust Museum and pay homage to Benjamin Netanyahu. I want to ask all of you active duty and former vets, when will you wonderful brave men in our military going to rise up and organize a military coup to expel all of the dual Israeli citizens out of our country? When will you sergeant majors, captains, lieutenants, and master sergeants begin to expel the enemies that are within, in our own State Department, and arrest all of the treasonous traitors in a military tribunal? We, the American people, need you. Please do what needs to be done.